Well, it's time for the Bears to get back at it in week number seven as they've got the New Orleans Saints coming into town. The Saints, who even without Drew Brees, have done really well for themselves so far this season. Teddy Bridgewater stepped in, I think, done an admirable job. The Saints are 4-0 and in Bridgewater starts. You're looking at Drew Brees still being out of action on Sunday, not to mention the fact that they've got some other notable injuries. You've got Trey Hendrickson out with a neck injury still. You've got Jared Cook out with an ankle injury. And then the big injury outside of, obviously, the first battle Hall of Fame quarterback in Drew Brees is Alvin Kamara, who was really, you would say, the straw that stirs the drink of that New Orleans Saints offense is going to be out of this game with knee and ankle injuries. So a Saints team that's riding some momentum, winning their last four games behind Bridgewater, now coming into this game, still without Drew Brees, and without their arguably most important weapon on the offensive side of the ball in Kamara. Whereas you've got the Chicago Bears coming into this game, 3-2, and two, coming off of the bye after the loss in London that was just all types of frustrating for the players, the coaches, the organization, the fan base, everybody. It's all types of frustrating. You get the news that Akeem Hicks, is going to be placed on the IR, and Kyle Long also being placed on the IR, although you could argue that most certainly was not any type of loss whatsoever. Good news for the Bears is where the Saints are heading in one direction, and they've got, it seems like every week, a new notable player dropping. The Bears are starting to get some of their guys back. Unfortunately, it's not Akeem Hicks. But it looks like Mitchell Trubisky is going to be back into the fold in Week 7. Bilal Nichols is going to have a cast on his hand, and he's going to be able to play. Taylor Gabriel, after missing the past couple of games with the concussion, he's going to be back in as well. So the Bears are starting to round into shape a little bit in terms of getting more of their key pieces, more of their key players back on the field, back in the flow of the game. And it couldn't come at a more important time for the Chicago Bears. As you look at this game and you say, for the Bears... In the division that they play in, they really, really, really need this one. They almost have to have this one. You really don't want to be in a place where you're going to 3-3 three and three in this division. With Green Bay, Minnesota, Detroit, you get to 3-3, three and three, you know, you're really on the outside looking in when it comes to the playoff race, let alone trying to think about contending in that division, especially with the hot start that Green Bay's gotten off to early on in the year. Um, as far as the Saints go, you know, you could say, well, they've got the Panthers kind of nipping at their heels a little bit. But when all is said and done, you have to feel that the Saints are a better team. If they were to lose this game on Sunday, it's not nearly as critical or as important to them and their season hopes as it is to the Chicago Bears. Talking about some of the key matchups to look at in this game, uh, you've got the Bears offensive line, and in particular the tackles, Charles Leno Jr. and Bobby Massey going up against Cameron Jordan, Marcus Davenport, and the edge rushers for New Orleans. The Bears offensive line was really, really bad in all phases in London two weeks ago. The, Leno and Massey have got to be better on the outside. They've got to be better. Leno in particular has been dog shit this year. Just total dog shit. Almost like a turnstile at the left tackle position. And you got a young quarterback coming off of an injury. You got to be able to keep him clean. You got to be able to keep him upright. These guys are getting paid a lot of money. That offensive line has had a lot invested in it. It's time for them to start playing like it. It's just time for them to start playing like it. And you look at the Bears defensively, you look and you see Kyle Fuller and Prince of Mukamura uh, versus Michael Thomas and Ted Ginn especially without Alvin Kamara for the Saints, especially without Jared Cook for the Saints. You know, the Saints have a chance of winning this game. You know, maybe you say Latavius Murray comes up and surprises a little bit. But it's really going to be determined on the outside by the Saints' top two wide receivers versus the Bears' secondary. The Bears are going to have to get a little more physical. I know Fuller and Amukamura like to play a lot of off coverage. You're going to have to get up and jam these guys a little bit. You're going to have to get a little more physical because – if you allow Michael Thomas free range, he will pick you apart. He will go right through you, and you just can't let that happen. And then also for the Bears defensively, you look at another key to this, is their front seven against the Saints offensive line in the running game. No Kamara, but Latavius Murray is at least an adequate, capable running back. 
They got run all over last week by a physical back in Josh Jacobs with the Raiders. You don't want to see that happen for the second game in a row. Because if it does, then that's going to spell trouble even at home. And then I look at the Bears offensively. You know, as much as I could talk about trying to establish a running game and actually stick with it and be consistent with it, the real key to this game to me offensively is going to be Taylor Gabriel versus the Saints secondary. They've had some troubles against some of those shorter, shiftier wide receivers and some of those slot guys this year. With Taylor Gabriel coming back into the fold, this might be an opportunity for him to come in and really make a difference in this game. If the Saints can't figure out a way to contain Gabriel and or Anthony Miller, uh, then it's going to be a long day for them defensively. Well, looking ahead at this game as, on Sunday, you know, to me this is, as much as anything else, a situation where it's got to be a Trubisky game. It's got to be. He's got to come back, and he's got to show at least some element of being that dude. He doesn't have to be great, but by God, he's just got to be good. He has to. And one of the keys to that is letting Trubisky run a little bit. Now, I know that seems kind of sacrilegious to talk about with the quarterback coming off of the shoulder injury that he had. But last year, it felt like Trubisky was more comfortable than he has been this year so far, in part because he was able to scramble around more. He ran around more. They did more design bootlegs and play actions and got him on the move and got him into good rhythms. This year, they haven't been doing that. It's just really mind-numbing to me as to why. You're taking away one of the best traits that Trubisky has for what freaking purpose. You have to let Trubisky get going on the ground. You have to design some rollouts. You have to design some quarterback runs for him. Let him use his feet to kind of get him in the rhythm. And then the Bears' offensive line has to be better. And frankly, I think without Kyle Long, they probably are going to be. They've still invested a lot in that offensive line over the past few years. It is time for those guys to show up and impose their will like they didn't in London two weeks ago. It would be nice for the Saints to get this quality road victory. There's no question about it. But this feels like an absolute must-win game for the Bears based off of the division that they're in. I look at that game against the Raiders in Oakland two weeks ago as either a blessing in the guys or an indication of a potential curse to come for the rest of this year. I'm going to give my Bears the benefit of the doubt and hope that this serves as a wake-up call that they need to show up every game and they need to be better they need to play with more physicality. They need to just flat out get after it, which is exactly what I expect the Bears to be able to do on Sunday. They've had two weeks to prepare for this game. They shouldn't be surprised by a whole lot of things. I think the Bears are going to come out in Soldier Field with that crowd jamming in that late Sunday afternoon time slot, and they're going to get the job done. I'll pick the Bears to win 23-13. to 13.